classic Andes rejoice. Your day has come. World of Warcraft Awakening has been leaked on Reddit. Very trusted source. An anonymous source on Reddit. It doesn't get more trusted than that these days, boys. Yes, this will be the classic plus expansion. And my, my, does it look fantastic. Look at this. First of all, this is the first classic plus expansion. You will be charged. This is the most probably accurate part of this whole thing. Blizzard will be charging a box price for a classic expansion. That's right. A 20... What is this? 20-year-old game? Yeah. Almost 20-year-old game. We'll be charging for an expansion based on the 20 years ago release. Yeah. Get ready. $49.99. Pucker it up, boys. The whole idea is what if the Dark Portal didn't open after Vanilla? So that's right. Imprisoned for 10,000 years? No, Illidan will be imprisoned for 10,020 years in this expansion. So he will still be in prison. The Dark Portal never opens. And uh, none of that ever happens. Yeah, Chris Metzen is the main head behind this project. He will reuse assets from BC, Wrath, and Cataclysm to maintain the visual aspects of the classic era. So that's an interesting thought considering, you know, they won't have to make those assets. They already have them in game. They still use classic style. But they'll be from BC Wrath and Cataclysm and be used for this next expansion. New models will look like the Reawakened Phase Hunter Mount. Level cap will be raised to 70. Without new continents, Hygel and the Emerald Dream will be your new zones. The idea is to finish various vanilla quest lines that were lost in time with the arrival of the Burning Crusade. High Elves and Ogres are the new races respectively for the Alliance and Horde, and the first raid tier will be against the Scourge. Oh, wow. Cataclysm Classic will also happen after Wrath. Boys. So this is essentially a Wrath of the Lich King expansion, but never moving on to Northrend, just doing it in the, in the current world. Yeah. This is an interesting one. So essentially you'll be using Wrath of the Lich King, BC, and Cataclysm visual aspects to fight against the Scourge. Now the Scourge, it doesn't have to be from Northrend, right? We know that the Scourge will be happening. They infected, uh, you know, an entire city that had to be purged by Arthas. So maybe you go there and you get shit done? Maybe. I don't know, what do you guys think about this? Okay, so let, let's let's ponder this a little bit here. Let's think about this. How could this happen story-wise? What would be happening here? So they're not deleting the Scourge. They're just deleting the Dark Portal opening. So in this expansion idea, follow me now, it looks like what's going to happen is the Scourge is going to happen. Strathome is going to be infected and purged by the greatest purger of them all, Arthas Menethil. But we're not moving on to a Wrath of Lich expansion, no. You will be fighting off the Scourge continually throughout this Classic Plus expansion. It looks like the fact that you're getting High Elves also means that you'll be dealing with the Scourge invasion of what is back then still Silvermoon City but not completely broken out. So you're dealing with the Dead Scar, the storyline of the High Elves pushing back the Scourge, most likely the humans also dealing with the Scourge, and whatever the hell is going on with the orcs at this time, I don't know, dealing with the ogres? Because they will also become a new race to play based on this leak. So this entire Classic Plus expansion will also take you into... We talked about the Emerald Dream and Hygel. So I'm trying to intertwine these all and connect them. I mean, I guess it'll be like a life versus death expansion where the Scourge is invading everything. You know, they are essentially death. But then you have Hygel and the Emerald Dream representing life. And it's an interesting thought. Not something I'm too into. Chad evidently thinks it sounds like crap, but there are a lot of retail Andes in my chat, so who knows what that means. I'm interested to see what anyone who, is, who has wanted a Classic Plus expansion thinks about this. I want to see comments from people. Do you get excited at the thought of a Classic Plus expansion based on what looks like the Scourge. It's, I think it's called Wrath of the Lich King, but here it'll be called uh, Awakening. 
Yes, awakening. Now, what are we awakening? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, Arthas cannot become the Lich King in this because, you know, then we're playing Wrath of the Lich King. He has to go to Northrend to do that, and we're not going to Northrend this expansion. We are simply staying in the current world and dealing with current zones. Uh, it's, it's interesting. Again, the raid tier will be against the Scourge. It's an interesting idea, guys. It's an interesting idea. Uh, again, the most true part about this is the $49.99 price, although I think it would be more than $49.99. It'd probably be $60. And there would be some kind of, like, you know, extra additions that crank it up to $100. You know, get yourself some extra skins and shit because Blizzard loves doing that and packaging it. Hey, maybe some Trader's Tent or two. Why not throw that in there since that's being sold with everything on the store these days? Uh, but this is it, boys. World of Warcraft Awakening. Get ready to helicopter dick your way through another expansion. Based on an old game. Yeah. <laughs>